Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some great emulation news for you. We're talking about PlayStation 4, Nintendo 64, 3DS, and DOS. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with a pretty heavy hitter, PlayStation 4 emulation on PC with FPPS4. FPPS4 is one of the few PS4 emulation options we have right now, and it's still in extremely early stages of development. Actually, every single PS4 emulation option right now is still in very early stages of development. FPPS4 just got a brand new update. Now, FPPS4 is free, it's available on GitHub, and I will leave a link to it in the description below, so feel free to check it out. The version to check out is Draft 3006 2022, or June 30th, 2022. For those of you that want to see this emulator in action, I'll leave a link to Brutal Sam's video in the description below, and feel free to check that one out as well. You can see games like Undertale, Splunky, and Cursed Castilla up and running. Now yes, these are only 2D games, no heavy hitting AAA games like God of War just yet. And I say just yet, it's probably going to be a while. You've got to walk before you run, and you've got to start somewhere. In my opinion, this is incredibly good progress, and I'm looking forward to the future of FPPS4. Next up here, we're talking about an emulator that is considerably more mature, an N64 emulator called M64P, or UPIN64+. M64P just got a brand new update. In fact, M64P has a number of new updates, four within the last week and one just today. We'll start out here with the first of four updates, version 2022.06.3. This version results in a minor performance improvement at the expense, do I wanna say expense? At the expense, I guess, of compatibility. This emulator now works only with Haswell Air CPUs or better. So basically a CPU that was made at least 10 years ago, give or take. Truth be told, if you're using a CPU older than that, N64 emulation probably won't be the best. Now moving on to the second update, version 06.4, and this one is basically just a hotfix for the Windows build, so nothing overly game-changing. And moving on to the next one, the third update here, 07.1, and this one is actually pretty big. So this build came out yesterday, and they say it's built using QT6 instead of QT5, and that alone is pretty big. But this is even bigger. This is huge. Native Vulkan Rendering. The shim that was in place to present the final image in OpenGL has been removed. Everything should look the same, but this is a fairly large change under the hood and they ask you to report any bugs that you find. On top of that, if you are using Linux here, Snap Package has been removed. They want you now to use Flatpak. And now moving on to the fourth update, which just came out a few hours ago, 07.2. In this update, they added back screenshot support using Vulkan. Now I am a big fan of M64P and I do think this emulator is worth checking out. I'll leave a link to the GitHub in the description below and I guess feel free to check it out. Moving on now, and we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Citra, and this is a pretty quick update. We talked about this one in yesterday's video, but Citra MMJ, the performance-based version of Citra, not the version that's on the Google Play Store, did get a very interesting update, and that had to do with Antutu. Uh, for some reason, this build was taken down off of GitHub, but it has been restored. So I will leave a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And just to quickly recap here, in the event that you didn't see yesterday's video, the Antutu version of Citra, which I don't think supports scope storage, basically tricks certain phones into squeezing out a little bit more performance than they normally would. If you want to learn more about that, check out yesterday's video. And last up here, but definitely not least, we're talking about DREAM, which stands for subs... No, I'm not going to make that joke. Uh, DOS Retro Emulation Arena for Maniac Mansion and other LucasArts scum games. Now, I've talked about DREAM in a previous video, but version 1.0 has just dropped. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to this site in the description below. At this point in time, DREAM is only available on Windows, but at some point in the future, they do plan on making it available on other platforms. And as for the supported games, here is the full games list. It runs all the known DOS and FM Towns versions of Scum Games, along with The Curse of Monkey Island. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was PS4 emulation, 3DS emulation, Nintendo 64 emulation, or this new Dream emulator. Let me know in the comments below. 
If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.